You can't kill me. Hi, this is James C. Burns. I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2, and 4. Well, enough, Carlos. You know Bowman, right? I talked to my manager and um, who I hired to negotiate for him. He said, okay, we got, I got three projects. On, I got one here. It's a commercial on Thursday. And I got this other thing for this uh, video game. They want me to start tomorrow, but it's, the money sucks. I don't want to be in cash. Goes, what, what's the video game? I go, I don't know. Beauty? Beauty, duty, duty, kind of beauty, cootie, duty. He goes, he goes, Call of Duty. I go, yeah, that's it, Call of Duty. He goes, Call of Duty. They want to hire you for Call of Duty. I go, I guess. I get, you know, I, it's about some testing technology. He goes, Are you f stupid? That's the biggest video game in the world. I go, Yeah, but man, they were really unorganized. So he said, Take the f job. So I did. I wasn't the first choice, but I ended up with the part anyways. Son of a bitch. Next. That was the very first, my very first day on set ever. In, in, in terms of the, um, of actually, shoot, I was, you know, I'd been working for six months prior to that. So I knew, I knew the studio. I knew everybody who worked in the studio. I was like a fixture there, but it was my first time actually shooting on a call, in a, the Call of Duty project. And they had a, uh, they had a, a, uh, a director there who didn't want me. Uh, so he, didn't, he, he didn't want me for the part. And it got really it's kind of tense and it's set because who knows? I, I, you don't know why there's, I don't understand any decisions because I'm not part of what the decision process is. My job is to show up, do the best job I can, provide, and, and what I learned early on as an actor is like, all I can do is show up and have the best possible experience I can have. So when I go into an audition, I'm not worried about getting a job. I just want to, I want to maximize my expression. I want to maximize my presence. I want to maximize my experience. That means be as focused and as present as I can. So um, I get there, I go through, I go through the works and I'm hanging around. And then I get, and there's, there's, there's shooting this scene, shooting this stuff. And, like, and I'm a little sh a little pissed off. I'm feeling like the director hasn't really talked to me much, and and I sense he doesn't like me at all. Like, you know, what am I doing here? I felt a little bit of intimidation coming at me, and like, man, I'm a hockey player. You know, you, and the way you fix intimidation is you fight back. You know, you have a guy in your team who who's, gets paid just to make sure the other team can't intimidate you. So I'm not a big guy, but you know, I, I, I've been in my fair share of fights. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna be intimidated here. So the very first take was like, when I walk in and, you know, they had the guys with the guns and they were like, like, don't you touch me. And that was totally off script. Don't you touch me. And I just kind of stared them down. And, yeah, you want to, like I was ready to fight everybody in the room. And that's the energy that I brought into the, that, that started Woods for me. Is that, yeah, I'll you all on right now. Let's, because I don't care if I live or die, but I'm going to take you all with me. And that's where you can't kill me. Like, he's just defiant. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna live for you. Technically, as an actor, it really you don't do anything different. I mean, this is again what I did with uh, Woods, which was the first time it happened in Call of Duty, is that full performance capture. So basically, prior to Woods. It was you'd have a you have a, a motion capture guy go through the action, and then you hire a voice actor and they would do the lines, and then you have a face actor, somebody they model, and they would try to you know mouth the lines and imitate the best they could, but then they would just kind of modify with the computer. It's about uh, Black Ops. I was it, I worked about seventy five days, Black Ops one, which is like making a feature film. It's like being on or a television series. That's a lot of days. Uh, Black Ops 2 wasn't it was about the same, about 55, 60 days. And Black Ops 4, um, I only had about 12, 13 days of shooting. I'm not in it that much, but I wrote all summer on that. I, I was writing every single day, even days that I worked it. Uh, I wrote a lot of that. I wrote a lot of Black Ops 2. So a lot of my days in Black Ops 2 were done um, as a writer, you know, working with Dave Anthony to modify. Because I kept changing lines. Ah, what does he say? What's it gonna say like this? You know, and then, all right, fine, just come on and doctor before you, you're because you're wasting time on set.
Man, I found out about the the role uh, about three days after you guys did. It. I remember I got uh, someone tweeted me, "Hey, is that you in in, in modern in the modern war war zone?" I go, and I listened to. It, I go, Jesus, did they did they use my old content? I go, is that stuff that I had recorded that they're now repurposing? If they, and then I listened to it. I go, man, but it's not quite the same. That's not me. That's you know, someone sounds with the gruff and the that, but it, it's missing that thing that I recognize from my performance. And then I started, re, you know, oh, that's no, that's somebody else sounding like me. And then of course, so I don't know, man. We, I had not, I have not talked to Activision Production, Treyarch Production, since um, after, since right after uh, Black Ops Four. There's been no contact at all. I've had two conversations with the. Uh, with the uh, PR department about some guidance and some issues, but other than that, I have not been in contact with anybody from Treyarch or Activision. But I think it, it must be hard because I, I really, I don't like it when my fans and my community kind of um, berate uh, Damon for his performance. It's not fair. It's not fair. And it's like, he did a good job. He did, he's a pro. He did what he was asked to do. Now, whether this performance is organic to him, which maybe he sounds just like this, maybe he is like Woods, or if they ask him to imitate Woods or a character like Woods, that's not on him. He's doing the job he's asked, and he did a good one. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, wow, that works.